Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Rick Roll. Alright, I got a little project today and uh, it's actually going to be part of a larger project. It's going to take a few days to get finished. We're going to start today, but I'm going to be a little enigmatic. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm building and, and uh, allow you to watch it being assembled, but I'm not really going to tell you what it's all about until we put the whole thing together and you see the final project. The first part though, is the thing we're gonna to do today. I need to create a base for something. Uh, basically, I need to be able to lift something about 15 inches off the ground and store it at, a, at that height. And it's gotta be strong. So I'm gonna be using uh, two by six lumber again, like I did with the uh, trailer a couple weeks ago. And uh, we're gonna make something that's gonna be the base of this final project that is gonna have to, at some point, hold about 500 pounds. So uh, we gotta go to Home Depot, pick up some supplies, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, I'm back from Home Depot. I got my uh, pieces of two by six. This is actually kind of quality wood here, uh, unlike the stuff that I used uh, a couple weeks ago on the trailer. So what I want to do, you know, one side of it is marked uh, with, uh, you know, what the product is. And so I'm going to make it so that's the inside. But the lumber itself looks pretty nice. And I want this stand to look pretty cool. So once I get it assembled, I'm actually going to stain it and then water seal it. So basically what, what I want to do is I want to create a platform that's about 24 inches wide and uh, about 18 inches deep and it's going to be about 15 inches high. It's going to be a box and I'm going to have uh, these on the side of it providing the lift for the platform on the top and a platform on the bottom and it's going to be all lag bolted together and uh, that's going to be the basic project here. So let's get going on this and you'll kind of see it come together as I do it. Now the first thing I want to do I think is I want to create the side pieces. Uh, as I said the overall platform I want to be about 15 inches tall but there's also going to be a layer of uh, 2 by 6 on the top and a layer of 2 by 6 on the bottom. And 2 by 6 it isn't actually 2 inches by 6 inches, it's actually 1 and a half inches by about 5 and 5 eighths inches. That's just one of the little things that, they, that you have to kind of contend with. So since the thickness is 1 and a half inches and there's going to be a layer on the bottom and a layer on the top, that's 3 inches so I want to create uh, what is it going to be? About 14 side pieces. It's going to be two, uh, four in the front, four in the back, three on the side, and three on the other side. Uh, so that is 14, and they need to be about 12 inches uh, long. So I'm going to do that on my table saw, and uh, we'll get those pieces cut out. All right, I've got the uh, side pieces assembled. I've actually assembled them into the walls already. So I've got like a piece of two by four bracing each of the four pieces, or, or in this case, three pieces together. And that's going to provide strength so that the thing doesn't twist itself apart, which sometimes can happen. Um, if you've ever watched me build anything, uh, you know that I always over-design it. You know, like I said, I wanted this thing to be strong enough to hold about um, 500 pounds. Uh, truth is, when this thing's done, it would be able to hold my car. But not going to need it for that. Uh, next thing I want to do now is assemble the bottom and the top. Uh, and the top is going to actually overlap the edges a little bit uh, and that's fine, that's what I wanted. Uh, but that's just all going to get put together and then I'm going to dr drive a bunch of lag bolts into the, uh, into the top and bottom to hold everything together and that will give it like, uh, additional strength. So I'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes. All right, some time has passed and I've made some significant progress on this. I've got the sides all attached and I have uh, securely attached, as you can see, the top to the side. So at this point already, this thing is horrendously strong. Uh, like I, I wasn't exaggerating earlier when I said I could probably put my car on here. I could probably put several cars on here. This thing's going to be massively strong, will easily hold up to what I'm what I'm doing inside. Now let me show you, uh, you know, what I'm going to do with this and the weight it's going to handle. So let me flip this thing over on its side and let you kind of see what I've done inside. As you can see, it's over designed inside. Basically, I've got backing pieces on each of the walls and on the roof to provide uh, adequate strength uh, so that the warp, the wood doesn't warp over t over time and stuff like that. So, like I said, I want to do. Uh, 
I want to attach the bottom to this now. The bottom doesn't need to be attached as securely. It just needs to hold on. The top parts had to be strong because they're going to be supporting all the weight. But at this point, all the weight will be supported by the side pieces and the front pieces and all that. And I think this is going to be more than strong. Uh, gravity will hold the bottom on. So I don't have to attach that as severely as I attached everything else. But yeah, that's what it's uh, going to start to look like here. I'll show you the finished product in a few minutes. Okay, so there's the final product. I've got it all assembled. Um, as I said, I didn't really go as hardcore in terms of putting bolts on the bottom. I just used uh, some deck screws for that, and that'll work fine because all this has to do on the bottom is, you know, let gravity do all the work. So it's just basically keep the, the wood from sliding out from underneath the base of this thing. But that is my base there. Um, this is taking a little bit more than time than I thought, so I'm probably not going to finish this off today. Uh, but I do want to do one more stage before we finish off for the day and that is I am going to stain this I know this is going to be outside and I know I'm going to use a uh, Wood sealant to deal with the outdoorsy nature of it But I want it to look nice because this is actually some kind of decent looking wood in here And I want it to look nice when whatever it is I put on top of this thing is put on top of it So you'll all understand it a little uh, in a while when I finish up this series, but for now, I'm just going to keep you in the dark. So the stain that I'm going to use on this is a dark walnut color. It'll be a dark, dark brown color, and that's sort of what I want. I don't use this dark of a color very often, but I think it's going to look really nice uh, combined up with what's going to be stacked on top of it. So we're going to go with that. Um, I've actually had this around for this stain around for quite a while, so I'm actually a little bit surprised that it looks like it's still in pretty good shape. So. We're going to put this layer of, st of, uh, of uh, stain on here, dark walnut, and uh, I'll let you see what that looks like in a few. All right, so I got a coat of the uh, dark walnut on here. Um, this isn't how it's ultimately going to look. Uh, this is just the coat on there. I want it to kind of have a weathered look to it, so uh, I do think it looks pretty good. But what I got to do now is kind of wipe off the excess stain, otherwise it'll come out blotchy. But I'll show you what that looks like. It's going to look great. Okay, so we got all the excess stain wiped off now. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? That's going to actually look like it's too nice to be outside, isn't it? That looks like that should be something that's in the house, like a little end table or something like that. But no, it's very industrial. It has a very specific purpose, and it's going to do a good job for uh, what it is I need it to do. Like I said, I'm going to play and string you along for a while here, and uh, you know we'll uh, reveal what this is actually going to be for at some future time. Uh, in the meantime, uh, feel free to speculate if you want. You want to try and guess what this thing's going to be. Uh, the only thing I'm going to, like I said, the only clues I'm giving you is it's going to be outside. It's going to have to hold about four or five hundred pounds of weight. So, do your get, do your get best guesses. Put them in the comment section, and we'll see if any of you are right. Until then, I think that is all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.